I met Orlando at a recent car show in Riverside. It was a lowrider car show. I was so moved with his beautiful creation, Game Over, I asked if it'd be all right to take a photograph someday. He agreed with himself, several friends, and some family. We moved his car from where he lives out to Riverside. I borrowed the house of a total stranger and wound up doing a photograph with his car, a stranger's house, and a scene we created sort of from scratch. We even included a lowrider bicycle his friend had made and put that in the shot too. What you're looking at now is the final composition. It's amazing how much work it takes just to get to this point here. It was very hot in the summertime after months of waiting and preparation, all with volunteer help, to create this shot. As it gets darker and darker as the evening is progressing, we start shooting pretty much when it's almost as dark as it could possibly be. I had to also block some of the streetlights in order to get these shots. I'm including for you now some of the rough shots that were done on location. As you know, I'm painting with light using a large flashlight over about 10 second exposures and creating several hundred images, sometimes six, seven, or eight hundred different photographs. What we're looking at now are some of these shots separately. You can see I'm lighting separate elements, grass, tires, you know, hoods, trunks, walls, and then the guys in the photograph. You're just looking at one of 30 or 40 photographs from each person, basically. What I'm doing now is blending the images together in Photoshop. This is the first, second uh, snapshots in this series, which really represents 20 or 30 f layers in Photoshop itself. In this case, unlike everything else, I'm trying to paint this car with light and create such a smooth, even, interesting image, which is not totally understandable in terms of lighting and shadow. Normally, like with the submarine, it's light at the top, dark at the bottom, and very easy to understand. In this case, I purposely wanted to light the whole thing not sloppily or badly, but, for lack of a better word, fully. I want people to look at the shot and not absolutely positively understand in just a fraction of a second what's happening, even that we're actually looking at a car. I think maybe for Americans it's easy to understand that this is indeed a car, because you can see the shadow of the door making a crisscross and the actual tires themselves. The scene I'm trying to create is the idea of, you know, just a couple of guys in the front yard in like 1972 with their lowrider car kind of washing the car. The fact that there's a pretty girl sort of washing the car too, well, nothing strange about that. That's just a given. The girl was really a nod to that kind of lowrider photography that's very common in magazines. The gentleman on the, on the right is Orlando. He's the owner and builder of the car. The two guys in the background are the friends of his. It literally took them five and a half to six years working six days a week after work from 5.30 to 11 o'clock at night every day for about five and a half to six years. It's a huge production. And interestingly, the shot you just saw is the same as this shot, which is the basic photograph before we start lighting. There's no difference between this shot and this shot, except for the lighting itself. I think it's just mind-blowingly interesting. When we look at some of the close-ups, it's great to see the detail. The little lowrider bicycle we laid onto the ground. The two guys in the background, you know, very discreet, just to be in the photograph. This is somewhat documentary, art, you know, who knows what these are really titled or called. A close-up of the engine block. You can actually see some of the sparkle coming off the metal flake in the paint job of the trunk itself. This is Orlando. Notice anything interesting about the hose? It's a detail from the inside of the car. And the gal who, used to, who we used to pose next to the car, just to give it that little sort of, I guess, nod toward girly photos from that sort of classic pin-up lowrider style. And this is indeed the final photograph one more time. I just thought you'd enjoy seeing this is how the shot was made.